So today I've got a little bit different video here. Um, as you can see here, it says Virgil H. Nichols. That's uh, actually my grandfather. Um, he passed away when I was eight years old, so it's been quite a bit since he passed away. But this used to be his jewelry bench. To show you guys what we're doing today is making this Samsung Gear S3 gold. That's something that I've wanted to try for a while. Something that I saw, you know, Jerry Rig everything did it for the Apple Watch and I tried to find somewhere local that would do it and nobody wanted to mess with it because they thought they were gonna ruin the electronics in it. Um, I've already buffed it out. Uh, we'll get to cleaning it off, doing the three-step process to gold plating it and hopefully it turns out well. All right, we'll start off by turning it off though. <laughs> Definitely don't want it on. You know, we'll take the, the band off. I've got a gold band to replace this one so it matches. I'm all about my watches matching. So there it is again, what we're dipping today. And I got this really cheap kit on eBay. So if I get what I get, um, yeah, I only have myself to blame for getting a cheap kit, but I hear really good things about it. All right, so we're gonna start with cleaning the watch right here. And uh, we're gonna use this stuff. I've gotta pour it out. Uh, make sure you wear gloves for this. Um, you always want to make sure you're protected. I've got glasses on. You would want safety glasses as well. My my glasses cover enough of my face, so it'll count as that. Oh my gosh, that was a bad idea. I pulled that tape off with these sticking to it. I can be liberal with it because I, you know, got a $40 bottle of it. It's not really what I wanted <laughs> was that much. And uh, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna attach this lead to the watch. I don't have this plugged in yet, so don't worry. Now, for doing this part right here, um, I'm gonna stick this in there. You don't, you wanna make sure that you don't touch these together when they're in the solution. And it says to go in between five and seven volts. Um, on this dial, I've got it set to six. So I'm gonna get this plugged in and we'll get to cleaning. So, just gotta, like I said, oh, that fell, that's not fun. Um, so, you can see that it's starting to bubble up in there. Hopefully you can. Hopefully I'm not in the way too much. Now, it says they usually keep this in for a couple minutes. I'm gonna pull it out and just check on it. You basically want to keep doing it while it's bubbling. So it's still bubbling a little bit. I'm going to do it some more. And what this does is it'll strip all the coating off of the stainless steel. That way, when we do our application, which is Woods Nickel, um, the nickel will apply to it. I'm going to pull that out, leave that in there. I think I'm going to do one more, one more dip just to be safe. Once again, don't touch them together. It's looking pretty dang clean though in there. So pull this off one more time. Now I'm gonna set that there. I'm gonna unplug this probably every single time because I don't wanna deal with the electricity each time. And I'm gonna just pull up, show you what this is looking like. So. You can see that it's stripped off a lot of it. It's looking pretty dang clean. All right, so I actually grabbed a microfiber cloth. I don't wanna leave too much stuff on there. I'm just gonna get this wiped down. Pretty good wipe down. I have these in the wrong order, so you wanna do this last. This will be the next next thing. Got this. I'm gonna just set that there. Oh, that's interesting too. Look, you can, you can see all the stuff that got pulled off maybe. There's a bunch of particulates in there. They got pulled off of the watch because it'll pull off the grease and everything as well. And it looks like we're gonna change the voltage. Um, it says three to five volts on this part. And this one, it says it usually takes a couple minutes. So I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna go five volts on this. I don't know if that's much better though. The problem is, is there's not very much liquid in these. So 
Um, the trick is going to be not touching the leads together. We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to touch the watch. That's the biggest thing. Not touching the watch. Okay, so it's starting to bubble up. Pull that out. I'm going to set that there once again. Unhooking the power. And so this should, this should now have a level of either silver or nickel. I think this one's, uh, I think this is wood's nickel. Um, and so I don't even know if you can't really tell the difference, but it should have a coat on it all the way there. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go heat up the gold in the microwave and then I'll be right back again. All right, so we got the, the gold solution here. I'm gonna drop the watch in first again. That seemed to work the best. Just gotta make sure yep, that's fully covered. We're gonna go all the way up to, we'll do seven and a half, cause that's what my meter goes to. So here we go. That's cool. You won't be able to see until I pull it out, but it is, it is starting to change to gold all the way around. I don't know if my dial is, which is very, very fascinating. I don't know why my dial won't be. Still, the dial, the dial almost didn't strip off enough, I think. Yeah, it was, I would consider that a fail for sure. Um, definitely didn't turn out like I thought it would. This part turned out awesome. This part definitely didn't change. <laughs> so it was a pretty fun project. I wish the dial would have come out, but on Amazon, you can buy these covers for them. I think it's Ringike or Ringik. Uh, they make dial covers that you can get. I couldn't find one that was even 24 karat gold or even 18 karat gold. So this was the closest color I could get, but it actually looks kind of cool with the two-tone. What I really wanted to show you guys though is the different colors of gold. I have the Apple Watch 6. It comes out closer to an 18 karat gold. I'm not sure about that though because Apple has their own process so it's a unique color of gold for sure but it's a lighter colored gold and then if you look at my diesel watch it's 24 karat gold and that's what my Samsung watch should have come out as but as you can see there it's a darker colored gold than the Samsung watch and then the Samsung watch to me comes out to be more of an 18 karat gold but it ended up being really really cool to have the variances in the watches is depending on my mood and what I want to match it with each gold complements in a different way in full I think it turned out pretty well especially with the dial being covered up just to give you an idea of why the dial ended up turning out bad I didn't leave it in the solution that strips the metal long enough it was enough for the body and that's why the body turned out so well but the dial I didn't leave it in long enough so it came out patchy and that's what will happen it'll come out cloudy when you're trying to gold plate it because it can't adhere to it but I'm pretty satisfied with the results I got from the very first time ever gold plating something and it was a fun project to show you guys. Hopefully it works out for you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.